Of all of our forest disasters, loss of the American chestnut to blight was one of the worst. On chestnut canopies, squirrels of lore skipped their way from Maine to Georgia without touching ground. This ghost forest of blighted chestnuts stood near Front Royal, Virginia. The chestnut is important uh, because it provides a valuable food source for animals in the forest, and it once provided income and food for the people who lived in the region. In Catawba, Vital work of planting trees is taking place. Volunteers include school children. The small trees will succumb to the blight, but some will flower, produce nuts, and contribute healthy genetics. Spearheading the effort, Virginia Tech forestry alum Carl Absher teaches proper planting techniques. If it occurred in nature, there'd been a little squirrel, go to hide that nut someplace out in the woods and dug a little hole underneath the forest duff and then went off and forgot it and then come spring it would grow. So that's basically what we did, loosen the soil up, make sure we're in a good spot, got rid of all the turf or any uh, rocks that may have been in the hole, and then use some moist peat moss in the hole to simulate uh, the duff layer that's out in the forest, and then the nut is planted in there with a little root that's already emerged during the winter going down. What's more, the center is establishing an orchard that will contribute to a process called backcrossing, in which a blight-resistant species is developed using genes from the Chinese chestnut. All the work is worth the effort to resurrect a prized tree. I think about any uh, environmental problem you come up with, trees are the answer. Trees will help. For Outreach and International Affairs, this is Andrea Brunet reporting.